safe inside our bubble With love to shield us from everything When it popped, I was not prepared For everything that came okay, pouring Jack? in Irish boys that take over their son They can't make a move for the camp of you This film deals with mental health issues I feel it all pouring, I feel it all rushing in. Hello and welcome to the making of Drop. My name is John Deary, I'm the writer, director of the film. It came about as a project for the MDES Masters in Design for Creative Practice at McGee, University of Ulster in Derry. And the idea behind the project initially came from previous work I had done in the field of mental health and I just wanted to make a piece that that addressed those issues while still being interesting and a good piece of film to watch as well. Previous work I've done include the Six Strings and Stigma charity album where 14 local songwriters here in Derry were given the stories of 14 people with long-term mental health difficulties and we all got together, wrote songs and recorded them on a charity album. That's called Six Strings and Stigma. This project really spurred out of, of that, um, using some of the music from that project in the film and really some of the ideas that, that came out of those stories. I wanted to, to capture uh, a film based on those kind of issues. I also worked with a group creating a mural for one of the, the local hospitals here that specialises in issues of mental health. We created two large scale mural pieces that were to go up in the new ward of the hospital, the male and female ward. So that was a very successful project and again something that, that spurred all my work in mental health. You all right? Initially I had the idea for the film, uh, the first image that came into my head was actually the opening shot of, of the film where two feet are hanging over the edge of the bridge just about to drop off and without saying a word we see the feet drop off the edge and we have that high impact start. That was, that was the first thing that, that came into my head and the story really built itself around that. The Foyle Bridge, locally here in Derry, Londonderry, is a well-known suicide spot. Foyle Search and Rescue, one of the local charities, are forever like keeping an eye on there and helping people, pulling them out of the river and so on. But it is a well-known spot um, for people to uh, go up and take their own lives. So, um, Just a very striking image to start the piece with. After a range of research on mental health and other films that have dealt with similar issues, I decided to put together a, a story arc and a script. Uh, I was using Nigel Watts' Eight Point Story Arc to create the piece and felt that that was the best for narrative and the best for, for pacing throughout the piece. It's around 17 minutes long, the film, so it's got a nice twist at the end and it keeps the audience engaged, hopefully throughout the piece. Believe it or not, he's doing a, a degree in acting. That's good. <laughs>
We cast the piece using almost exclusively actors who are studying drama at McGee, along with a couple of professionals. And they were absolutely brilliant. The student actors, we couldn't have asked for any more. Uh, Joseph O'Hagan, who plays the part of Jack, was just incredible. Great intensity, great delivery throughout the whole piece. And it came across really well on screen. As did Jack Larmer's performance, who plays the narrator as a young man. But all the actors we worked with were absolutely what incredible. And a real asset to the, the piece itself. My brother Matt has a wealth of acting experience and has been a professional actor for a number of years. So it was great to have his opinion uh, on the casting. And, but we were in agreement from the start on who the main characters should be. We also had David Tedstone on second camera, who was fantastic to work with. He's a former student of mine, and he was a joy to have on board a first real project with him. The voice of the narrator was provided by Roy Arbuckle, who's a local songwriter who was actually involved as well in the Six Strings and Stigma album. Just think his voice is great and really apt for the, the delivery of the piece. It was great to have Jeff Coke on board, who's, who plays the, the acting role of the older narrator. He, um, his face fitted perfectly with Jack Larmer's. We were very lucky to get them both uh, volunteering to help out on the project, particularly because we had no budget. It was, it was great to just have their, their time, their effort and their skill for the piece. I also got the chance to use some of the music from Six Strings and Stigma. I got to use Glenn Rossborough's Rushing In. It comes in just at the climax of the film. It's a great piece of music for that because it has real drama, real intensity, and it fitted the piece perfectly well. The bridge scene was quite powerful for me because standing up there I was trying to go through what a person would actually feel if they were doing that and you know I had great empathy for people and I would just implore people to maybe talk to somebody if they're going through that because I know that even just that wee slice of what I was feeling was just very potent and powerful. So. It was a great experience and learning experience for me. It was fine. Okay. So I suppose getting into my character, I would say, uh, I just took a lot of real experiences of my own for getting into my character, seeing as at the end you realise Oh, Jack and the narrator are the same person. So, I was able to take a lot of real life experiences from my own life and just implore them into how I emotionally play the character of the narrator. I didn't. <laughs> I'm Kathy Ross, I am 20 years old, and I play the part of Alice. Slash Celia, who is the girlfriend of both the narrator and Jack. Um, I first came about this project via my course at university. I am a drama student at the University of Mc Ulster at McGee, and my lecturer had sent out an email about auditions for this particular feature, so I decided, why not? Let's audition for it. So I auditioned for it in our in the Foil Arts Building, is where I usually study, and. One thing led to another and I ended up getting the part, yay! So um, <laughs> I found it a really enjoyable experience um, and really beneficial and I would do it all over again if I could and cheers! <laughs> we filmed over several weeks uh, using a variety of locations from McGee campus itself 
to my own flat and a couple of other locations as well. Vodka and stuff. All of the actors were very committed and very, very determined to make the piece work, which was brilliant for me because the their commitment, it couldn't have been done without their commitment. Set your marker very quickly and so that you don't catch your breath, okay? Open up a wee second there. Yeah. Open up the door and your mark is there, yeah? Are you okay? Yeah. Cool, okay. And that's rolling again, so. Okay. Action. Right? <laughs> what the hell, dude? Jack, come on. After all the footage was shot, I put it together using Final Cut and Adobe After Effects. And it was, it was a, a long editing process, but a very good one and a great learning curve. And getting the edits of the scenes just exactly right to keep that pacing throughout the piece. Uh, I had a, a test screening of it in the nerve center here where we're sitting. and. It was brilliant, it was a great opportunity for me to show the piece to a, a selected audience and get feedback for it, after which I went back and just tweaked a couple of bits of the film and that was it finished. Including the Guildhall Bell, that was ideal. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, uh, are you going to use the shot with the guy with the St. Paddy's Day hat? <laughs> get the fuck out of my shot. <laughs> For my final module of the master's course, I focused on distribution and marketing of the piece itself. I've applied to a number of both mental health film festivals and other film festivals as well. I've created a website, I've looked at digital distribution of the film itself and it's been very successful so far. So I'm delighted with how well the film's been received and it's been a great project to be involved with and I hope you enjoy it. Thanks. And action. I was 21 when I first met Jack. What I didn't know then was just how big an impact he would have on me. We were safe inside our bubble with love to shield us from everything